What's up guys, Balance here. So I wanted to do a quick review of this new bundle that I got. It's actually from a company called Solomon Tones um, and they do some really awesome stuff. I actually use their guitar um, virtual instrument quite a bit. It's called um, the Odin and that one you actually will hear in my productions. Uh, but we're here today to talk about their new suite called the Artifact Suite. Um, so what this is, is actually a series of plugins um, that have different functions. Uh, I'm going to go through them real quick. And then uh, after that, we'll, I'll give you an example of how they work. So you have a saturation distortion, a harmonic exciter, a compressor limiter, reverb, and clipper. Um, and actually, these have been pretty cool. I've gotten to go through them. And um, it's actually something that I would see myself using and um, something that I'd say for the most part I'm going to be using on vocals um, and I could definitely see myself using them a little bit on drums as well um, but you could probably use them for anything um, so I'll go through them one at a time and just so you can hear how each one of them sounds so the first one that actually is one of my favorites that stood out to me was called Frostbite um, it sounds really good on, on vocals, especially screams. It will kind of push your screams um, to the front of the mix and just give them that extra saturation and warmth that they need. Uh, you got four knobs here, just EQ at the bottom, um, and then you just drive it with this knob and uh, blend it in with this other knob. And it's very straightforward, simple, easy to use, which I like. So it's off right now. Now it's on. So yeah, you can see it really kind of makes it cut through. Uh, next one I want to talk about is called Beast. Um, this one's pretty cool. Um, definitely could work for some heavy stuff. Um, I've noticed it It seems to do better on more either screams or more like um, minor evil kind of sounding um, melodies. If you are going to do it on a melody, it seems to do better on that type of stuff. So what it does is it adds layers um, to your to your signal. Um, and we'll shift things down and just make things sound very evil and kind of huge sounding. So let me kind of blend that in and you can hear for yourself. Follow strings every day, every day, yeah. Be heavy metal, nothing bad to no excuses, yeah. And it's got a couple different modes here too. Um, these are just different um effects they're kind of like presets i would say um and just make your voice or whatever your signal is sound a little slightly different um i found the monster and the beast one to be the coolest follow strings every day every day yeah follow strings every day every day yeah follow strings every day every day yeah be heavy metal nothing that you know just as yeah so yeah, it's it's pretty. It can be kind of subtle, um, but it's it it works for what it is. Um, and I, yeah, I could see myself if if I didn't have enough doubles and I needed to make something like quite a bit thicker and more evil sounding, that would be a really cool plugin to use. Um, Another one that I that we have here is called Overload, and what this does is it pulls your signal. Um, from what I understand, pulls your signal as close to clipping as possible without actually clipping. So you're gonna want to you know push this clip knob, and it'll um, it'll it'll bring you up to as close to zero dB as it can without actually clipping the signal. So um, this would be this would be actually be good on drums mainly I would say if you're especially if you're in a metal 
Um, this is going to be like, you know, that you, you want your drums loud, right? So um, without actually clipping and distorting and getting all that content cut off. So let's see if I can put it on vocals and see uh, what it sounds like. And I'm going to process a region with it so you can see it visually. I actually like that. That actually made them sound better, to be honest. Um, not just because they were louder, but just they sound more in your face. Um, all right, let's see what else we got. So, Smash, I use this one. It's a little bit, in a way, it's similar to um, the last one we just talked about, but um, I'd say this one works a little better for vocals and stuff like that. Let's hear what we got. Um, again, you can you can set your input level. So let's say your signal's coming in kind of hot. You can pull it back right here, um, and that'll that'll change how hot the signal is coming into the in, into the plugin. Um, then you're gonna smash it. This is just the amount of the effect, essentially, um, how hard the compression or saturation or whatever it is they have going on in there. Uh, gain, I believe, is just the output gain, and then this is the mix for the actual effect. So let's hear what it sounds like. I'm going to start with the mix at zero and then just bring it in. Yeah, so I kind of wish I would have used this on the final mix. Um, that thing really makes them cut through. So the last plugin that I wanted to talk about is their Room plugin. Um, this one's actually really cool. Um, some great sounds in here. It's very simple like the other ones, but um, the impulse responses that they're using for the uh, reverbs are great. Um, so let's get into that. Um, basically what you have here is you have a wet and dry like you do on most um, plugins and you got your low and your high like their other ones um, and then up here in this section this is actually where you ch check or uh, cycle through the different impulse responses so let me give you an example of what this uh, what this sounds like on like a clean vocal I'm gonna start with it um, basically off. I'm gonna just turn it off completely so you can hear what we got going. Now just cut my wings and I'll bleed free. Misunderstood, but despite what I wanna be, I put in work every day, every day. Yeah, I put in work. So you can actually hear um, on that vocal. There's a little bit of background noise. Um, there's a band that plays next to me um, in my recording space. So if you if you have a keen ear, you can hear that, but. Um, nonetheless, let's get into <laughs> what this plugin does. So, um, I'm going to just bring in the, um, I'm going to leave it just completely dry and I'm going to start to bring in the, the small room. I'm bleeding free, misunderstood, but despite what I want to be, I put in work every day, every day, yeah, I put in work every day, fuck what they say. So, it's actually a really nice sounding reverb. Um, let me hear, I want to hear that. Um, in the context of the music too. Bleed free, misunderstood, but despite what I wanna bleed free. Yeah, that's man, that's way better than uh, probably whatever reverb I had on there. Um, and then you just you can cycle through with these arrows to get different sounds. So um, let me give you an example of their different impulse responses that they're using. I'm bleeding free, misunderstood. I'm bleeding free, misunderstood, but despite. I'm bleeding free, misunderstood, but despite what I want to be, I put in work. I'm bleeding free, misunderstood, but despite what I want to be. I'm bleeding free, misunderstood, but despite what I want to be. 
and that's pretty much it um so yeah these these plugins are actually really cool uh very straightforward um i'd say if you're someone that likes to tweak every every single parameter um and you're a huge nerd and you want to get into every little detail um maybe these are not for you but i i don't think that that really matters i think what matters is the end product and the sounds um and they sound great and um i i'm i'm a firm believer in use whatever works um you you'll find that you know i use a lot less uh plugins on my vocal chain and stuff um that you would think that i use really you know it's all it's only two or three um so i, I like these plugins because they're very straightforward um, simple, easy to use, but they, they provide a great result. So um, I'm going to link them in the description below. Um, so feel free to, to check them out. And just um, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, and if you want to see me do more videos, uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you want me to do. Thanks.